to me, you know, if you, if you really want to think about, you know, cities are built for people, first and foremost. That's human benefit, okay? And then we sort of, you know, you welcome nature in to the extent that it fits with the human agenda, okay? So you want nature to be a certain way. If, it, if it's too weedy or if it's uh, a problem, it spreads some disease. And we don't want that kind of nature. We only want certain kinds. Of, so there's this sort of conflict and the, you know, that's built into cities with this, the human agenda versus the natural agenda. And what's interesting about nature, at least my experience of nature, is that nature does best when you leave it alone. And ev whenever people try to improve nature or do something for nature, they usually end up making it worse, screwing it up in some way. So our ability to control natural processes is like, we don't have a great track record. And you can see this in California super easily when you look at the issue of fire and, you know, just <laughs> not, it's not working. And so leaving nature alone is like, just it works really well and, and it's messy. Nature by its, by its, the, it, what it is, it is a messy thing. So it doesn't fit with our aesthetic goals uh, particularly. And so harmonizing though that with the human agenda is not an easy thing to do.